gorgeous. It's got some nice crispiness. That, that is the perfect jalapeno popper. It hits at a different level. But how do you take that jalapeno popper and make everyone say, wow? You turn it into a Texas Twinkie. Now, if you've never heard of a Texas Twinkie, it's a jalapeno popper that when you mix up all that cream cheese, your seasonings, you're gonna take some brisket, chop that up, and throw it in that filling. Brings up a notch, everybody says wow, everybody loves them. First things first, we gotta clean out these jalapenos. So normally, I only wear one glove, keeping a dirty hand and having a clean hand. When I mess with peppers, even though they're jalapenos, they're not hot, I always put two gloves on. Another tip is get yourself a little spoon. That makes scraping out all the seeds and the rind super easy. So when making these, we're gonna cut off the stem, slice it down the middle. An easy technique that I like once I cut open the jalapeno, you can just kind of scrape it out with a spoon. Layer by layer, boom. Done, next one. Super quick that way. For a brisket, we can approach this one of two ways. You can either slice the brisket really thin so that it fits in here, or we can take and chunk the brisket up and make it like a chopped brisket. Today, we're gonna do the chopped brisket style fits it into a piping bag, and it's kind of taking one less step out. Next step, we got up our cream cheese and our shredded cheese mixture. I like to mix them both instead of just a cream cheese base. Biggest tip I can give about this step is make sure your cream cheese has sat out for a while so that it softens up a bit. As far as the shredded cheese measures, I'm not too worried about it. We're just gonna throw some in. Maybe like a two to one-ish ratio. Now that we've got the cheese together, we're gonna throw in the brisket and we're gonna <laughs> We're gonna impress our friends. Today we're using the Butcher's Blend Hollywood. I said we wanna impress our friends. This is gonna get it. This seasoning is insanely good. We're gonna put it into the cream cheese mixture and on top. We don't wanna to go too overboard in the mixture itself. So we're just gonna throw a little bit. Every layer of flavor counts. Another great tip I can give is to get yourself a Ziploc bag. We're gonna use this to pipe in the cream cheese filling into our jalapenos. It's gonna save you so much time, so much effort. So we're just gonna fill this bag up, cut off a little bit of the corner, enough for those brisket chunks to fit through. And then we're gonna pipe these. All right, so we're gonna close off a bit of this bag. We're gonna kind of work all the cream cheese down into one corner. And that's what we want it to look like. We're just gonna cut this tip off here. So we've twisted the bag, we've got all the air out of it, we've cut our hole. Let's get to piping some poppers. Just go ahead and squeeze. Step is to get us some store-bought bacon and wrap these suckers. I go with a thinner bacon. It seems to make it a lot easier to actually wrap the jalapenos with. We're gonna go ahead and put these poppers on to a wire rack. It just makes things a lot easier to pull them on and off of the smoker with. I'll take and get this end secured by giving it a little wrap first over there. And we're just basically gonna roll Roll that popper over. Make 
sure bacon's not folded up like that. And done. Now just a whole bunch left to go. Once again, we want to step up the game. We're gonna throw on this Butcher's Blend Hollywood on top of these. All right guys, so we got these poppers in here. The grill is set at 325. We're hoping to get these done in about an hour-ish time frame. We may, at the end, crank up the heat to get that bacon extra crispy. Other than that, we're gonna sit, we're gonna let it roll, and we'll see you guys in a few. All right, so we're 45 minutes into this cook. These things are smelling phenomenal. They're looking great. I'm gonna give it another 15 minutes, and we're gonna pull them off. So, how exactly do you tell if that Texas Twinkie is ready? First, you can look at the bacon. If that bacon is crispy, the cream cheese and the jalapeno are probably soft enough now. You could look at the cream cheese and the jalapeno themselves. You can feel it. If that cream cheese is oozing out, or if the jalapeno is soft and you could almost bend it, you're almost there. If you want that bacon to get a little bit crispier, you could turn your smoker up to about 350 and let it rip for 10 minutes or so. Or you could bring them inside, throw your oven onto broil, and let them crisp up. Just, if you do that, make sure you really keep an eye on it. Broilers can get out of hand really quickly. So we're done with this cook. Look at this thing. Gorgeous. It's got some nice crispiness. This is going to be super hot, but for the cook, we got to do it. That that is the perfect jalapeno popper. Not only do you get that bacon, you get the brisket, just it hits at a different level. This elevates your popper game like no other. I'm impressed, these are great. Can't wait to do them again. All right, so I think I wanna do something a little bit different. Every time I do a cook in a video, I'm gonna tell you something I learned. Biggest thing I learned is jalapeno poppers always take me longer than I think. The prep might not seem like a lot, it's not a lot of steps, but if you're doing a big batch, they do take a lot longer. So give yourself ample time. Guys, if you wanna see more awesome game day preps or just cooks in general, make sure you hit the like and subscribe and hit that bell up there so you get to see when I make new videos. Until then, I'm gonna be smashing some jalapeno poppers.